welcome back to my channel again, Tor Athena, where today I'm doing a very simple video where I sit down and talk to you and it's about something that I just find myself ranting about in my head a lot, so I kind of just want to get it out there. Maybe this will entertain you, maybe you think I'm a weirdo, maybe you have the same gripes that I do, but this video is all about the things that annoy me. As most people who know me say, I can get a bit ranty at times about things and I've kept it neutral I, these are things that annoy me they're not opinions like whether I like the new Harley Quinn or not it's not ones that are gonna spark a debate in that sense these are just general things that happen in my everyday life that just annoy me <laughs> so shall we begin people who make sly remarks about me not replying to them on Facebook one although yes it may be seen as rude to not reply to someone on Facebook, but sending someone a message is not obligating the other person to reply. It is a request to start a conversation. Therefore, I do not have to reply. Also, I have quite a lot of friends on Facebook. I'm self-employed. I am constantly working. I am constantly in connection with people. I get a lot of messages on my Facebook profile. If I genuinely sat there and replied to every single one, I'd never get off Facebook. And I am also really bad at just replying in general. Even to the people I genuinely like can't wait to talk to, I'm still really bad at keeping in contact. But if you make a little sly remark about how I'm always never reading your messages or how I'm never replying, it genuinely makes me not want to reply to you more. I have a thing about pressure, as most human beings probably do. If I have to do something, I don't want to do it. If I make plans to go out with my best friend, by the time I won't want to do it, just because I have to. If you keep having these little digs at me for not replying, then I'm gonna feel more and more inclined that I have to reply or you're gonna have another dig at me. Therefore, I'm not gonna wanna reply. Just stop it. People who walk through a doorway and then stop. Say, this is the doorway, this is someone walking out and then they get here and they stop because to them, they are outside, but they are blocking the doorway. I can't get through. You're an idiot. I was once on an escalator, an escalator that I have no control of, and say, this is the top right here. There are two people going up and they stop. As soon as the escalator is like stopped for them, they stop right at the top of the escalator. And I'm going up on like this conveyor belt of doom and I just can't stop. And I'm about to get rammed into them and they don't move. I need to, I, I didn't think I'd get this ranty already. <laughs> People who think it's okay to post a spoiler about a big media event straight after watching it. There is a special place in hell for people like you. The amount of things I haven't bothered watching because of that. The new Star Wars film, although I did watch, was spoiled for me. You have to watch everything the moment it comes out because there's gonna be some asshole <laughs> who has to ruin it for everybody. People who repost things on Facebook without any research whatsoever. I have a general rule that if I'm reposting anything on Facebook, especially if it's political or factual, that I will make sure I at least Google it. That's all you have to do, it takes five seconds and it's pretty much gonna confirm whether you're right or wrong on the first two or three links. The amount of times I've wanted to repost something and then realized it's not true, it's not real, and it's taken a minute to find that out. Another thing that annoys me is bad journalism. <laughs> Clickbait, lying, no research, lack of, you know, you're just as bad as the people who share it. People who think it's funny or fashionable or trendy to treat vegans like they're the new devil. I know so many people who give shit towards vegans. Why? I I'm personally not a vegan, I'm very much a carnivore. But at the same time, I have the utmost respect for vegans because they're doing it properly. They have a moral or ethical belief and they are doing it 100%. They haven't just gone, oh, I'll just cut out meat, although that's still better than I'm doing. They're doing it properly. They're like, no, I don't agree with how animals are treated, so I have nothing to do with that system. What is there to laugh at? Anyone who can give up cheese, it should deserves a medal in my eyes, because the idea of giving up cheese creates this world I don't want to be a part of. Unskippable adverts on YouTube. Now, I get, YouTube needs to be monetized for people to make money. I think that's a great thing. It helps free content stay free, helps people earn money as an extra sideline project or career. But unskippable adverts? 
No video is good enough for that. I have a rule, no matter how much I wanted to watch that video, no matter how much I've heard this video is amazing, and no matter how much I love that channel, if it's unskippable, I don't watch it. That's my ethical line, that's my moral line. <laughs> Noisy eaters. No. One of my best friends, she can't eat anything without smacking her lips, and I, I twitch, I genuinely see red and I've nearly like just hit her. Just, I've never hit her, I don't condone violence. Although I'm, I am pretty close when it comes to noisy eaters. People who call you on the phone and for whatever reason, maybe you've just missed the button, you've just missed it, you instantly ring them back and they don't answer. What have they done? Was it like they rang you, you didn't answer, so they respond like this? Oh, they didn't answer. I don't, I don't get it. Falling in love with something on Netflix and then they just delete it. No warning, no time to say goodbye, no time to finish it. How Americans have a better Netflix channel than us? How is that fair? The thumbs up icon on Facebook, I keep pressing it by accident and it comes across as the most rudest thing ever and the people who do send me Facebook thumbs up things, I wanna slap them. The TV show Gogglebox. Now, I don't have terrestrial TV or cable or anything like that. Live TV. I'm honestly too busy to watch TV a lot of the time like that. But if I do, I want to watch something good. And all I imagine with things like Gogglebox is that you have watched so much TV that you have run out of things to watch. So you watch people watching TV. I, I guess really at the end of the day, the thing that just annoys me is just people. Oh, well this was a very anger negative filled video. I'm sorry. I just, I kind of felt like I needed a bit of a rant. It was very therapeutic. Maybe next week I should do the things I love or that I'm grateful for or something. Because there are many. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. What are the things that annoy you? The weird things that really shouldn't affect us, that affect us the most. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because it makes my day. And I will see you all very soon.